Hello guys, this is Jones10395 and today I'll be doing a first for my channel. This will be a how to uh, make a stop for really anything that needs to stop. Um, uh, I'll be just showing you kind of step by step what to do using my own design. You can also make your own. Um, if you are watching this for entertainment purposes only, then enjoy, but if you're actually going to make a stop for say a weapon or something, in my case it's an air cannon. Um, I didn't make this specific to a real weapon because the same principles applies. You have to know the, the dimensions of the weapon, the upper receiver, you're going to be um, mating with the lower receiver, which in, ca in this case will be the wood. Um, I just want to show you what my little crappy blueprint is. This is what my stock will look like. Not really crappy, I just don't have dimensions on it. I'm going to eyeball it on here. But this will be a foregrip to hold, and this is where your shoulder will go, the the, uh, the butt. And then this is where the upper receiver, or the air cannon will be. And this right here is for the ball valve. So, I'm going to get started, I'm just going to draw my design out on the piece of wood. Alright, here's my that. design, I'll be cutting out right here. Or not cutting out, but this is paper design. Um, here it is on the wood right here. You can see that maybe faint line. My battery is about to die, so I'm going to put you guys on the charger while I'm cutting this out with my jigsaw. So, I'll be back with you in a second. Alright, here we are. Um, I have just cut out the outer section of the air cannon, or I mean the stock for my air cannon. Which I must say it looks very, very nice and feels very smooth. Um, hope you don't mind the radio in the background. Um, for this cut right here, which is um, internal, I don't know, I'm going to call it an internal cut right now. You're going to want to drill a hole in here that, sorry for the voice crack, drill a hole in here that will be able to fit your jigsaw blade, which in my case I believe is, I'm going to say three eighths of an inch, um, I'm going to call it tall. The cutting edge is three eighths of an inch, I guess. I don't know the technical term, but, um, so you're going to want to drill a hole in here. And then take your jigsaw out and just cut around the outer edge. Be very careful. Go very slow. Um, which is what you should do for the entire build. Take your time. Um, and that's basically everything I'm going to tell you right now. I'll show you what I get done um, after I cut it. So here we go. All right. Here is my jigsaw blade right there. Doesn't want to focus on it, but there's my blade. And this guy right here will be my drill. A drill bit. Don't know the size. I just kind of have it thrown around in the drill kit, so I'll get to drilling um, right here. So here we go. All right. If you saw me kind of like pulling back at the end, it's because I don't want to splinter it, which I did anyways. Splintering the wood right here. Didn't want to do that, but since it's close into the center enough, it shouldn't make a difference in my what will be my foregrip when I'm done cutting this out. So I guess I'll try to keep the camera rolling whenever it decides to stop recording. Is well, I'll go to the next part of the build for the video. So here's my jigsaw. All right, and here we go. I'm gonna move you guys. Alright, here's the finished product. Not finished completely, but basically finished. Um, all I'm going to do now is first razor blade down everything, make it nice and smooth, and then finish the job up with some rough grit sandpaper. Then you can paint it and mate your upper receiver to lower, if you um, want to call it that. That's what I will. Um, so I'll add a picture in here of it when it's completely done. Not painted yet because I'm not going to get painted for a while, so.
All right, here we are. Sorry about that, shaky. Um, <clears throat> I am done sanding right now. Very, very smooth. Uh, my generous neighbor gave me some some nice rough grit and uh, smooth grit sandpaper, so if you get it nice and smooth, because I didn't have any. Um, these holes, by the way, up here are how I will mate the. Once again, I'm still calling it upper receiver to the lower receiver. The upper is the air cannon, the lower is the, obviously this part, my stock I just made. So, now I will move on to painting this black. If I have enough paint, I actually haven't checked yet. Um, if not, we'll just move on with the rest of the project. So, stay tuned. Alright, I do have paint. So, I'll continue with what I was saying about the paint. I will um, <clears throat> hang this up in my garage on those little beams right there, if you can see those. And then paint it. I've got a fan going in here, and obviously the door's open if you were observant and saw that. Um, so all I'm going to do is maybe put some fish eye hooks right in here where the air camera will be on top and you won't be able to see the hole. And then I'm going to hang it from the, from the ceiling of the garage or the beams from the garage. Or I could also run fishing wire through here and hang it. So I can get all of it done at one time. I don't have to flip it over and hit the camera. But no. Um, so yeah, I'll paint this. I'll get back to you probably in three seconds, but in an hour in real time for me. Alright, here we are. I ended up just running a nail through the holes I drilled, if you can see that. And I'm trying a new thing I've never done before. I have put the clear coat on first. Which is, I don't recommend this. This is half the reason I put it on first. It's Valspar clear satin for inside and outside. Um, main reason I wouldn't recommend it is because it's extremely rough. And I don't even think satin means rough. I'm not, I'm not, I don't really remember. No, I think satin means rough. It's a slightly rough, it's supposed to be a slightly rough finish, but it's not. So I wouldn't recommend it get... Uh, I don't know, Krylon or something. Um, yeah, so I did my first clear coat, and I'll probably do two or three black coats, and then I'll do another clear coat over that. Anyways, I've got a generic quick dry um, spray paint here. I'm going to do that as a first coat, and I'll put the higher, I guess you can call it a higher end spray paint. I'll put that as my second coat, and then I'll do another clear coat, which, as I said earlier, if you already forgot, I put a clear coat on first. Um, tips for spray painting, hold the can about 8 to 12 inches away. Don't want to get too close to where to drip. And you don't want to spray it in like the winter, say anything below 60 degrees. You don't want to spray paint because your paint will just drip and you'll get a, a blotchy paint job finish. So right now it's, I think it's 80 something outside so it's pretty good weather to spray paint in. So. I will get to painting and then I'll show you the results. Alright, here we are with my second coat of black. I'm going to do a third one and I'm going to, I guess, put it on camera for you guys who don't know how to paint correctly or or if you just want to see it. Well, I'm not, not really, everybody knows how to spray paint, but it'll just be for those of you who want to see me paint it. So that's what I'll do right now with some Krylon. By the way, I have a fan going and the door is open for ventilation, so that's why I'm a little closer than 8 inches because the fan takes the paint away too fast. Alright. That was a heavy coat, and um, so that's that for now. I'll do a clear coat. It'll just be the same thing, just a clear coat. 
And then I will, um, as I promised earlier, show a picture of it with the air cannon on top. Here you are with the finished product, our uh, lower receiver, this guy with the upper receiver, mounted with zip ties, eight of them, and there's a sun out there, but this is how it looks, I'd say that's pretty badass, so you can use your own design, do whatever you want, um, this is really just what I wanted, and another tip, if you don't want to damage your air cannon, uh, like make scratches in it when you fire uh, do what I did right here if you can see that there's an uh, inner tube I cut up and I have it here to kind of spread out the pressure that the zip tie is doing even though there is eight of them to spread out the pressure for the tension but I like to have this just to keep the barrel clean and keep scratches off the paint which it does very well so thank you for watching and hope you found this very Entertaining. I know they've said this like three times now. I just don't know when to end the video. So, here we go. Thank you for watching.